The the saga of giving Square Enix money is fucking insanely difficult and really shouldn't be continues. So, okay. Do you want me to show you? I'm going to show you guys how you pre-order Endwalker. The fact that I need to show you is already dumb enough. So, if you want to pre-order Endwalker, what we do is, let's say we go, this wasn't here before, You would, the first thing that was at the top before was the Endwalker, uh, was Endwalker page on the uh, FF14 website. So if you want to go and pre-order it, okay, you have all of this stuff here. On a separate page, there is the in-game bonuses. And it's not really clear, like, what you get. Like, it does show, like, oh, these are with the collector's edition. But, like, there's so much nonsense on this page that it's not actually clear the way this works. Also, if you get the collector's edition like I did, um, these things don't actually come until after the expansion releases, even though you get... So you get these things before the expansion releases. So it sort of just doesn't make any sense. Like, why Why do these things come out before, but these things come out after? Why don't these things all come out at the same time? Obviously, the Death Scythe sort of makes sense why it comes out after, because, like, Reapers don't exist yet. But the weapon could be in the game, even though Reapers aren't in the game yet. Um, anyway. So you want to pre-order the game. You want to pre-order Endwalker. So you go to pre-order. Now you select the version you want. Okay. Whatever. Let's say you want the end walk, the digital end walker. Select the platform. Now make sure you select the correct platform because if you select the wrong platform, uh, keys are not transferable. So if you want the Windows version, you the Windows version, and Steam is a different version. Why is Steam and Windows a different version? I don't know. It's the same reason why it's a problem before. Um, but if you go Steam, if you go, okay. So if you go Steam, it's going to take you to the Steam. Uh, it's going to take you to the Steam website. The Steam website probably works fine in this regard. Actually, no, it doesn't. It probably... No. No, sorry. It has the exact same problem. It's just a problem in a different way. So imagine you wanted to do it through Windows. So you'd go to the store. Now, this is a different website. Okay? So what you do from this point is you buy the version you want, even though... Okay. Even though you fucking selected the one you want in here, right? When you go to the store, both things are still an option. But it also adds... Uh, actually, no, it doesn't add it to your cart. It, both things are still an option here. So you can add one to your cart and do all of that fun stuff. But it also then prompts you to go to the other stores if you have, like, if you're on another platform. Now, when you buy this code, okay, it doesn't activate it in your account because this is a different website. It's not just a different website. The Final Fantasy account and the Square Enix store account are different accounts. So you can log in with your Final Fantasy account and make a Square Enix store account, but like those are still separate accounts. So when you buy the code, you then have to go into your Square Enix store account, grab the code from like from wherever it is, which won't be visible straight away because it actually takes time to generate the code. It takes like 10, 15 minutes to do. In some people's cases, it's taken over 24 hours. Um, so you grab this stuff. Then what you do with the code is you don't go back to the Final Fantasy website because this isn't where you manage your Final Fantasy account. What you do instead is you go to the Mog Station website, and the Mog Station website is where you manage your all of your Final Fantasy stuff. In here, there's going to be like a random button where it says like uh, add code to pre-order access to Endwalker or whatever it says, something along those lines, and you put the code in there, and then finally you have access to Endwalker inside, or you've you, you've added it to your account. Now, do you know how you can simplify this? So the Mog Station has a store, right? The Mog Station, you can buy, like, you can buy aesthetics, you can buy, or aesthetics, you can buy, um, cosmetics, cosmetics, sorry. You can buy cosmetics, you can buy game time, you can buy, um, what, well, other, other stuff you might want to buy for your account. You can buy story skips if you hate the story for some reason. You shouldn't. It, don't do that. Please, please don't buy level and story skips. I don't want you in my dungeon if you do. Uh, at least, if you do that, at least watch a video on how to play your role. Please, please, please. Or go run Sastasha at level 80. Just please. I want you to know how to play the game before you, you queue with me. <laughs> just a bare minimum. Just just at least know what your buttons do. That that's all. You don't have to use them well. At least, at least read the tooltips. 
but the Mog Station could literally have a button to pre-order Endwalker and automatically do it for you. There's no reason why it couldn't. There's no reason why you need to go to a separate website to do this. Why? Why is it like this? Why can I not pre-order it from, like, in-game? Why do I have to go to this, like, off, like, this completely different thing? I don't get it. I don't understand. Uh, also, I actually made this mistake. I, I gave, I gave Square Enix too much money. So, you cannot pre-order Endwalker if you are on, um, the free trial. You have to purchase the full game and then pre-order Endwalker. But when you, okay, here's the other thing. When you pre-order, or when you, uh, when you buy the game... <clears throat> uh, FF14, uh, purchase. Also, it takes you to the EU website, so it's going to show you EU prices by default. Um, yeah, so I bought the, the, it doesn't, the game's not region locked though, so I, I just paid for the game in euros. Um, <laughs> anyway, if you, there, there's a couple of editions you can buy. You can buy complete edition, you can buy standard, uh, starter edition, and you can also buy Shadowbringers, which, it, this right here, this right here is where it should be showing Endwalker. Shadowbringers is not the expansion that should be here. If you pre like, don't pre-order, do not, do not, sorry, do not pre -order, do not buy Shadowbringers. Because if you buy Endwalker, you get all of the previous expansions. Now, where I was saying where I gave Square Enix too much money. So there is the Complete Edition and the Starter Edition. Um, by buying the complete edition, you get Heaven's Ward, Stormblood, and Shadowbringers. By buying the starter edition, you just get A Realm Reborn and Heaven's Ward. Um, A Realm Reborn, everybody gets, so I don't know why it's even listed. Um, but, but I actually bought the complete edition because I, I just didn't, I wasn't paying attention. I, I, I look, I shouldn't have to pay attention to buy your stupid game. <laughs> um... So I actually bought all of these expansions, mainly Stormblood and Shadowbringers. Those are the only ones that I'm going to get to before... Although those are the ones I'm not going to get to before um, Endwalker comes out. But because I bought Endwalker, I also got access to them anyway. So I bought them twice. Uh, <laughs> also, with I, I thought... It, I actually didn't realize this, but... With both the starter and the complete edition, it gives you a free month subscription. I guess it's not free, it's like in the, the cost. Uh, so it's not even that's, that uh, you get extra with the complete edition. You just... I, I, like, I just paid for these expansions without needing to, because I'm going to get access to them anyway. Because I'm not going to get to them before Endwalker comes out. <laughs> there are so many ways that, like, the way uh, that this game could just be simplified... In its, um, simplified in, in the way that you can just pay for it. Like, why is it so complicated to just pay for this game? All I want to do, Square Enix, is give you money. Just let me give you money. <laughs> why do you make it so difficult? <laughs> why are there so many different versions of the game? Why, why is it not clear what you get with each version? Why does it send me to the European website? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, and that's going... Like, I'm not even doing it from, like, um, from, from, uh, the Brave Search. I'm doing this from Google, so it knows I'm in Australia, but for some reason, the EU site is the one it shows instead. It's just, oh, <laughs> uh, I like. I love Final Fantasy fourteen. I am. I'm really enjoying the game. At this point, I like. There's no reason why I wouldn't keep playing. Like, I. It, it's. It's taking up a lot of my time. Um, but I. I love it nonetheless. I am in. In the process of considering of joining a FC, and there's a couple of them that are like catching my attention. Uh, those being Monkey. And um, Oceanauts, because they're both going to be moving over to Oceanic when Oceanic happens. Um, and I'm enjoying the content. I'm enjoying the raiding. I'm enjoying the... the. I don't do the RP stuff myself, but I'm enjoying seeing, you know, the, the RP is just chilling around Limsa Liminsa. Uh, there'll be, like, concerts happening all the times in Limsa. Like, there was some... Last time I played, I think there was someone playing some Dragon Force, which is always always fun to see 
I've seen people playing like the uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba, the Demon Slayer opening before, and it's fun. I enjoy it. 